Hello, everyone. Self care. To have attractive lips is to speak kind words, to have a loving look, to look for the good side of people, to look skinny, share your food with the hungry, to have beautiful hair, let a child cross it with its own fingers once a day, to have beautiful poise, walk knowing you are never alone because those who love and who love you accompany you. People, even more than objects, need to be fixed, spoiled, awakened, wanted, and saved. Never give up on anyone. Remember, if you have a hand, you will find them at the both ends of your arms. When you become old, you will discover that you have two hands, one to help yourself and the second to help others. The beauty of a woman is not in the clothes she wears or the face or the way her hair is fixed. The beauty of a woman is seen in her eyes because it is the door to an open heart that is the source of her love. The beauty of a woman doesn't lie within her makeup, but the beauty of a woman is reflected in her soul. It is tenderness that gives love and passion that express it. The beauty of a woman grows over the years and in the best way through service that is beauty self-care and love now a few of these words i took from a lovely individual who has passed some time ago but a woman who had such beauty because of her gifts of love her name is Audrey Hepburn. There's something to goals that we have within our lives of the self-care, of the opportunity we have to love other people. I know for myself, my best self-care is when I am serving others. When I'm loving, when I'm thinking about somebody else, that love washes in and that is the best self-care. Maybe that's why I have nine kids. Maybe that's why hard things happen. Maybe that's why I know I'm never alone. Maybe that's why the strength that I have comes because it's from someone else. Maybe that self-care and love come from a heart that is open, that doesn't look for conflict, that stands and kneels and holds a child's hand with love, pats a brow of an aging parent with love, sees the need of special needs within her classroom, and just connects with a side hug when words don't need to be said. This is self-care. Love you guys. That's really all I have to say about it. You might be surprised, but that charity love for myself, or that self-care is through service because when I am serving, there is just a positive light that amplifies out. And that's how we become that beacon. Thanks y'all. Bye.